Counting double digit thousand. <laughs>guys it's toyd123 back again and i am here to bring a new video on how to make precision cut boxes it is absolutely the worst thing to do is to get a box that you're getting ready to uh, put together and assemble and realize that it is not square and doesn't line up properly and all of your pieces are not cut in a way that you wish that they were and so in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to give you some tips and tricks to make a box just like this, which will house either speakers or any other type of project that you want. They'll be precision cut and hold together just with gravity, nothing else. And when you're finished, it's a breeze to glue together as you only need painter's tape. You don't need any brad nails, fill any holes or anything else. Now, before we get too far into that, let's show you what tools you're going to need and or want. You're going to want a table saw, first of all. If you don't have a table saw, you could probably use a uh, miter saw, depending on the size material, but I definitely recommend a table saw. Most people have a contractor table saw similar to the one that I'm showing you right here. Now, with this contractor table saw, you may notice that you are not always square when you tighten this up. In fact, most people's table saws get out of square very easily, and they're actually not going to give you that perfect cut and it's a contractor table saw so it's not really supposed to necessarily give you a hundred percent square cut so what you want to do is you're going to want to build a sled for your table saw now i'm not going to teach you how to do that i am going to link a video in the description and the same people that i use to make a sled for this particular table saw uh, but that will guarantee that you get a straight cut every time now what you're going to want to do is put a stop on this sled now what that stop will do is make sure you get the same cut every single time uh, you're always going to want to use a stop to make sure that all the pieces are the exact same size now after you do this I'm going to show you the rest of this all on half inch material uh, and the reason why I'm going to show you half inch is because it makes it very easy uh, to actually make the box and do this second part which you're going to want a router for now with this router since we're using half inch material we're going to want half of that material taken off or quarter inch of that and so take any piece of quarter inch material that you have scrap laying around and you're going to match the router bit height with the actual quarter inch material now you're also going to take that quarter inch material and put it back on the back end of the fence and that way uh, you can bring it right up against the router bit and and that piece of wood and now you're right at a quarter inch high and a quarter inch deep so it should be cutting a quarter and a quarter and just run that through the router and that should be a perfect cut now if for whatever reason it's off by a little just make your micro adjustments until it gets a, a very clean cut and these pieces should fit together snug just like a puzzle now once you have all of these pieces cut out, rotted out, all you have to do is assemble. You just need a little bit of glue and painter's clips, uh, painter tape. There's no need for clamps at all. So just put a little glue in there, put some painter's tape on it, and assemble it. Now this is a very basic simple lesson. So Go ahead and now make your own project boxes. You're going to love it. Some of you guys may notice that some of the lighting is a little bit better in this video. Um, not perfect yet. I'm still working on my lighting. Uh, but the lighting is better because I've learned some tips and tricks from Let's Make Something Awesome Together. He's got a great video, a uh, great channel. Go ahead and check him out. He does uh, developer tips. He does CNC routing. And he does 3D printing. So if you guys want to check him out, he's got some really cool things. I think you'd enjoy it. Um, thanks, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And as always, if you did, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, uh, subscribe, and uh, follow me on Twitter if you want. I'll see you guys later. Counting double digit thousand. <laughs>